Hello everyone, this is Connie here from Docs, and welcome back to a new video on the channel. In today's video, we're going to be making a, another developer command. It's going to be called execute. This is going to allow you to do uh, like various different things. I'll show you once we get to the end of it. This can come in handy in certain cases. It's not a necessary command, but I thought I would share this with you because it uses something called child processors. You can do a little bit more research on that and, you know, like educate yourself a little bit more on it. Without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Basically, what we're going to do is we're going to go up here. I'm going to start off by requiring something. Uh, we're actually just going to remove that line. We are going to re require the EXEC from the following package. Now, this one is pre-installed. Uh, well, not pre-installed per se. It's just accessing something that JavaScript or Node.js, sorry, has. Basically, we have required such. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to go down here and we're going to call upon this that we've just object deconstructed from the requirement. New args .join, and we're going to join the args with a space in between. Uh, now, there is more than one parameter here. There is a callback. So we're going to do error as the first one and std out as the following. And we're going to have it as an arrow function, opening parameters here and do const response equals std out or using an or operator if you don't know about all operators they are wonderful check them out and then we're going to do message.channel.send and we're going to send either the response or well not or sorry we're just going to send a response and then we're going to open up some options here split so basically if the message or the response or what it returns comes back more than i think it's 2000 characters uh, then it will split it between various different messages. Uh, that's because Discord has a limit on how many characters you can have per message. So it's going to split it uh, throughout various different uh, various different messages. Uh, next, there is a code option. So this is going to be in a code block now, uh, which is kind of cool. But that is that pretty much. And then we're going to add some semicolons here. Fix that up a little bit. Um, but yeah, we've got some options up here we can add. So for instance, uh, we're going to add the usage. Uh, if the developer doesn't know the usage, then it's probably all hell breaks loose. But we're just going to have, um, we'll just have quarry, for instance. Following that, we're going to have it as owner only. Uh, only. And then we're going to set that to true so that obviously it checks and comes and says, yes, it's an only only command. And then we require some arguments. So we're going to have that there. Wonderful. Now that we have completed that, we're going to head on over into Discord and run the command. Today's video is proudly powered by our partner, Oxide Hosting. Get your products hosted by them with their cheap, reliable services. So what are you waiting for? Check them out in the description below. So now that we have done so, we could run the command. So we do execute and uh, let's do, oh, sorry. Let's just do tree for instance. This is probably gonna spam so much yeah it's gonna spam so much this is basically gonna go through and have a look at some stuff here um there is gonna be various other commands uh that you can do but that's just for instance one of them it just allows you to do commands that you can do inside your console like for instance if i was to bring up my console i'd be able to do so i'm not sure if i would... can i do it in here i don't think i can oh no i can look so that this is basically what's getting displayed in there um but yeah this is just a small little cute cool command that you can have um it's not necessary but you can definitely add it in but anyways this has been connie here from menu docs i hope you have enjoyed this very simple small command and i'll catch you guys in the next video stay tuned i'll catch you guys later